So you're thinking about moving to Baltimore, Maryland. We're so excited to show you some of the awesome neighborhoods and suburbs in and around the Baltimore, Maryland area. We're gonna take you around some of the, the various neighborhoods, show you a lot of the different features and price points so you can get a feel for what Baltimore, Maryland has to offer. We hope you stick around to the end where we always share a little tidbit that you won't find anywhere else about some of the awesome places that we're exploring in and around Baltimore, Maryland. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Let's get after it. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about Baltimore, Maryland, make sure you subscribe below, hit that notification bell, and you can stay current on everything here in the Baltimore, Maryland market. Today we're here in the suburb of North Baltimore called Towson. Nestled in the heart of Baltimore County, Towson, Maryland offers a vibrant, welcoming community that effortlessly blends urban excitement with suburban charm. Living in Towson is an experience marked by a diverse array of amenities, cultural attractions, and a strong sense of community. Homeowners love this neighborhood because it's just north of Baltimore City, making any commute easy to accommodate. Picture tree-lined streets adorned with historic homes complemented by a bustling downtown that boasts a mix of shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. From trendy boutiques to cozy cafes, Towson provides residents with an eclectic and lively atmosphere perfect for those seeking a balance between city life and suburban tranquility. One of Towson's standout features is its proximity to green spaces. Residents can unwind in the lush expanses of Towson Park, such as beautiful Lock Raven Reservoir, or even the scenic Cromwell Valley Park. Outdoor enthusiasts can explore hiking trails, enjoy picnics, or simply soak in the natural beauty that surrounds the area. Lock Raven Park is situated in the Lock Raven Reservoir area, which is just north of Towson. The park is easily accessible from various points in Baltimore County and it's known for its stunning natural beauty featuring dense forests, scenic trails, and the expansive Lock Raven Reservoir. The reservoir, surrounded by wooded hills, provides a peaceful setting for outdoor activities like hiking, biking, and jogging along the park's trails, which wind through the wooded areas and along the reservoir shoreline. The Lock Raven Reservoir is also a well-known fishing destination, attracting anglers seeking a variety of fish species. The park provides designated fishing areas and opportunities for both shoreline and boat fishing. Nature lovers can enjoy observing the diverse wildlife in the park, including birds, deer, and other native species. The park habitats make it an excellent spot for bird watching and wildlife photography. Cromwell Valley Park is another beautiful and expansive natural area located in Baltimore County, Maryland, also not far from Towson. This park is known for its scenic landscapes, historic sites, and diverse recreational opportunities. The park features a mix of habitats, including meadows, woodlands, streams, and creating a diverse and picturesque environment. Visitors can enjoy the changing seasons, the vibrant wildflowers, and the peaceful ambience of nature. Cromwell Valley Park offers a network of well-maintained trails, providing opportunities for hiking, nature walks, and even bird watching. Education is a top priority in Towson, with the renowned institutions like Towson University and Goucher College contributing to the community's dynamic and intellectual atmosphere. Families appreciate the excellent local schools, making it an ideal place to raise children while providing access to quality education. Towson University is recognized for its commitment to academic excellence, community engagement, and preparing students for successful careers and lifelong learning. The university's focus on practical education, diverse programs, and a supportive campus environment contributes to its positive reputation in the region and beyond. This state university brings many students to the area who end up living on and off campus during their undergrad years. This creates a unique investment opportunity in the area targeting students who need housing. Adjacent to Towson University is Goucher College, which is known for several distinctive features that contribute to its unique identity and reputation. Goucher College is renowned for its commitment to a liberal arts education. The curriculum emphasizes critical thinking, creativity, and interdisciplinary learning. Students are encouraged to explore a broad range of subjects, fostering a well-rounded education. Speaking of, the vibrant arts and culture scene adds another layer to Towson's appeal. Residents can attend performances at the historic Housen Arts Collective or explore local galleries showcasing the work of talented artists. 
Towson Town Center, a premier shopping destination, offers a plethora of retail options, ensuring that residents have access to both mainstream and unique shopping experiences. Transportation is easy to navigate in Towson with easy access to major highways and public transportation options. Whether you're commuting to Baltimore for work or exploring the surrounding areas, Towson Central location makes it a convenient hub. In Towson, the sense of community is paramount. The numerous events and festivals throughout the year bringing neighbors from all sides of Towson together. From the farmer's markets to the outdoor concerts, there's always something happening that fosters a strong sense of camaraderie among the residents. Towson, Maryland hosts several annual festivals and events that bring the community together for celebrations, cultural experiences, and entertainment. While specific events may vary from year to year, here are some recurring festivals that have taken place in Towson. The Towson Town Spring Festival is one of the largest and oldest outdoor festivals in all of Maryland. Held in May, the Towson Town Spring Festival features live music, arts and crafts vendors, food vendors, a carnival, and activities for all ages. It's a great way for the community to come together in the warmer weather, have a beer, grab a burger, and walk around with your neighbors. Feet on the Street, Towson's Friday night concert series, is not a single festival, but a summer concert series held in downtown Towson. It's a beloved community event every Friday during the summer. Local and regional bands perform outdoors, creating a lively atmosphere for residents and visitors alike. The Towson 4th of July Parade and Fireworks celebrate Independence Day with an annual 4th of July Parade and Fireworks. The parade features marching bands, community groups, and patriotic displays, followed by a fireworks display late in the evening. One of my favorite events is the Festival on the Hill. And this is a family-friendly event that typically takes place in the fall. and includes live entertainment, food vendors, children's activities, and then opportunities to explore local businesses and organizations. The Festival on the Hill aims to showcase the diversity and the vibrancy of the Towson community. Now, living in Towson, Maryland is a delightful blend of urban convenience, suburban tranquility, and a lot of community warmth. With its rich history and vibrant culture, tons of diverse offerings, Towson is not just a place to live, it's a place to thrive and create lasting memories. Towson has a variety of housing options, from condos selling for under 100K to stunning new builds and restored historic mansions in the millions. The proximity to Baltimore, the blue ribbon rank schools, both make this one of the most sought after Baltimore suburbs in Baltimore County. Here are some of the most popular neighborhoods in and around Towson. So today we're in Stonely, and what really is unique about Stonely is every house is completely different. So you get a lot of character in your houses. These houses have been around here for a very long time. So you can expect, you know, anywhere from a three bedroom cape style um, with some, you know, elegant architecture up to some, you know, some bigger mansions. It just depends. And as we, we talked about with Stonely, all the kids walk to school, which is really nice. So if you have uh, an elementary school kid, they can walk to Stonely Elementary and you know, avoid all that and kind of get back into the old, old way of doing things. In Stonely, you can expect to spend anywhere from, depending on the condition of the house and the size of the house, anywhere from, you know, 450 over a million dollars. So you can get everything in between, but, you know, Stonely is very popular. It's very hard to get into. It's a very tight-knit community. So if you're, if you want to get in, you got to be patient, but the homes are definitely worth it. So we're going to take a a stroll around and you can kind of see just how really beautiful these streets are. Just really nice, beautiful, clean, and peaceful. And just talking about the architecture here, you get homes like this that you are never going to find anywhere else here, especially in Baltimore County. But homes like this, homes like that. A lot of people have added on to these old homes with additions and so forth, but you know, and then you get really beautiful ones like this. You know, these could be six bedrooms. A lot of these basements are unfinished, but depending on the, the updating, some people have, you know, gone and finished them, but just amazing architecture here in Stonely. Now we're over here in Rogers Forge. Rogers Forge is just really awesome, especially if you're a young family or this is maybe your first home, but it really gets you into the neighborhood. It's, a, you know, as we talked about, it's right next to Stonely. 
Uh, it's right on the other side of York Road. And these are essentially, these are townhomes, three to four beds, usually three bedrooms, sometimes even two, um, and uh, potentially one bathroom, sometimes two, sometimes two and a half. But uh, they have a ton of character and these are extremely popular. So you can expect when you live in here to have a lot of block parties, have a lot of families, a lot of neighborhood gatherings. So if you're looking to get into the area, maybe start here, then uh, move on over to Stonely or, or some of the other areas over on the Stonely side, this is a really great option. Um, they're all brick, they're all the same. Well, not all the same. You know, you have some end units and some, some larger units that have a little bit more room on the top level, but essentially they are clusters of townhomes, all brick, a lot of character. So if that's something that you want, you know, family oriented, community feel, everything is uh, in unison, then this is really a great option for you. Moving west, we have West Towson, which boasts a mix of historic and newer homes. This gives the neighborhood a diverse and charming feel. It's a popular choice for families with the proximity to schools, the parks, and the downtown area. Annalise is a residential neighborhood known for its Cape Cod and colonial style homes. I love selling in this neighborhood because the community has a strong neighborhood association that organizes events, contributing to a sense of unity among the residents. People love buying into this neighborhood because it's a great entry level spot when it comes to low price point single family homes, often starting in the 400s and going up from there. Wiltondale is a well-established neighborhood with a mix of architectural styles, including some more of those Cape Cod styles as well as colonial homes. Residents appreciate its walkable streets and proximity to the local schools and rec areas. Located just north of Towson, Hampton offers a mix of historic and newer homes in a wooded setting. These homes are typically in the 600 to 1.2 million range, and the area is known for its beauty and its home to the Hampton National Historic Site. This neighborhood is also close to Notre Dame Preparatory, an all-girls Catholic school in the neighborhood. If you like ranchers, if you like one-story living, then you're gonna wanna look in Hampton because it is full of them. And if you can see around me, there is rancher after rancher, and then there's like a big one out of nowhere. So if you like ranchers, you are gonna love Hampton. You got a lot of brick, you know, stone, mostly stone uh, style fronts, and a lot of uh, older layouts. But what people do is they buy these homes and then they open up the floor plan, they add on to them, they make the homes larger you know, to accommodate a larger family because a lot of these homes were built, you know, 40, 50 years ago. And, you know, the style of homes was a lot different back then. So you get in over here, you're most likely going to be, fine. you're going to find one most likely that has already been updated and, and made larger, so on and so forth. Uh, but if you haven't, you'll be able to get ones in like the 500 to 600 range. But then if you go, up to and find the ones that have been updated, you can expect to spend 800, 900, a million, depending on the size. And then every once in a while, you'll get somebody that just loves the area so much that they want to knock one of those old ranchers down and build a, an absolutely huge mega mansion here, uh, right on the corner. Typically these homes were, you know, very small closets, you know, um, very tight rooms. And then a lot of these people, like I said, are opening them up. So you can expect to see, uh, you know, much larger um, masters with huge master baths and then also huge walk-in closets. So those secondary rooms are going to be much more of like, you know, the style that you see in some of the, the homes, you know, that are much newer. So. If you want to be really close to 695 on the uh, towards the 95 side, and still close proximity to to 83 to get to downtown Baltimore, then then Hampton could be a fit for you. But just know that uh, it is 
on the upper end of the price, the pricing scale, and you will have a ton of competition here due to the one-story living. You will find a lot of uh, people that are looking to buy their home in cash because they've they've come from a bigger home and they want to downsize and they want to get something that's you know one story that they can live in and and be here for you know essentially the rest of their lives. Um, so you will be competing with those types of people and, uh, and those types of buyers. But if you're you're migrating and you're you're coming from a much um, more expensive to live area and you're selling your home there, you might be able to just buy this home in all cash potentially. So just depends on your situation and what you've got going on. But that's the kind of competition that you're going to be looking at when you're here in Hampton. All of these neighborhoods contribute to the overall appeal of living in Towson. They provide residents with a range of housing options, including atmospheres and the convenient access to local amenities. So whether you're looking for a store charm or family friendly environment or upscale living, Towson has a neighborhood to suit various preferences and lifestyle. All right, now today I'm in Bruxton, which is one of my favorite, absolute favorite little communities within Towson. You can expect a wide range of architecture from newer builds, such as the one I'm walking by, or, you know, some older builds where you can have colonials and things that have been around for nearly a hundred years. Um, but then you get a lot of newer builds and a lot of different architecture, such as this style rancher. Um, but like we said, to get into Ruxton, you're going to be looking to spend anywhere from 800 on up. I took you through a lot of the bigger homes in the area, absolutely massive estates. So you can expect multi-million dollar uh, price tags on those bad boys, that's for sure. But the, the neighborhood of Ruxton is very quaint. It has a little um, kind of like epicenter where there's a, a Grouse grocery store, which is a local um, supermarket food chain. Uh, there's only about four of those uh, in the entire state. And you know, he has your post office and, and all those little things so that you can get a real community type feel like we've talked about. So again, if you would like a, a two bedroom home, this is probably not the place for you. But if you want something a little bit of outside the box that is atypical to what you see, um, you know, of every new build area or, or things like that, then this is the, the place that you want to be because you have uh, school locations that are really close. You have a lot of private school locations that are really close. And then you have the ability to get onto either 83 uh, down to get downtown or 695 to uh, the outer loop or the, or the inner loop and then to get to 95. So homes like this are what you're gonna see in Ruxton. I mean, look at that thing. It doesn't even show the backside and how big it is. Um, so, if you want something that's like, I can walk the streets and my kids can play and, and run up and down the streets and, um, you know, get that different type of architecture type feel, then this is the place for you. And this is one of my favorite things. You even get the free library. Different corners of the neighborhoods, you'll see these posted where people just come and exchange books on a regular basis, which is really nice. It really hones in the sense of community that you're gonna get here in Ruxton. So if you're looking to spend 800 on up, then this is the place for you. Beyond all of the incredible amenities this area has to offer, you may be surprised to learn this mini city has 60,000 residents. So you have a large footprint with plenty of options for dining, entertainment, and housing if you are ever moving to the Baltimore area. I'm Kelly Shewitt. And I'm Mike Mislinski. And we're with the W Home Group of Next Step Realty. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are thinking about making the move to Baltimore, Maryland, and we love it. We love sharing all of the amazing things that make Baltimore Charm City. Whether it's nine days or 90 days, we're here to make your move to Baltimore as smooth as possible. Reach out to us anytime. We're so excited to get started helping you make your move to Baltimore, Maryland. 
You can call, text, or email us anytime. All of the information is below. We're so excited to help you on your journey moving towards Baltimore, Maryland, because we love new neighbors and new friends. Welcome.